Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, repair your Windows that has failed to start. And so basically what I'll be using is the uh, Windows installation disk here. Uh, and this particular version is Windows 7 64-bit. That's what's installed on here, so that's why I'm using a 64-bit Windows 7 installation disk. And uh, it has a uh, sort of a, a startup repair program built into the disk. And so I'm going to go ahead and insert that now into this uh, laptop that I'm on. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, restart. It pretty much has that instructions right here is to insert the disk, uh, start up from it, click on next, repair computer. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. All right, so the computer is restarting right now. And when you see this logo, you're going to want to press the F2 key, right? So that's a function F2 key up on the keyboard. And so um, now we're going to be choosing the uh, boot options. So boot option one here, if you notice, it says it wants to boot the hard drive. So we're going to change that. So highlight that and press enter. When you press enter, we want the optical drive. That's the optical drive right there. So go ahead and press that. So the first uh, boot uh, device is going to be the optical drive, the second boot device is a hard drive here, and this third one I usually like to just hit disabled, right? And then uh, that's pretty much it for uh, changing the boot order. So we're just going to hit the right arrow key over to exit, and we'll just go down to save changes, right? And then we're going to hit save changes and exit. And now it's going to boot to the, uh, the DVD Windows 7 installation disk. All right, so when you see this, press any key to boot. You got to press any key, basically. Just press, uh, I don't know, space bar or enter or whatever. Um, it flashes for like a few seconds, so you got to be quick about it. And so this should take about, uh, I don't know, 10, not more than 10 minutes uh, to fully load up and get into uh, the uh, repair options. All right, so now that we get to the uh, first screen here, you're going to go ahead and click on next and then down at the bottom left here you're going to click on repair your computer right and it's going to automatically detect uh, your windows installations so uh, this may take a little while and uh, once this is finished you're just going to click on next see how it highlights the windows installation uh, that you have on the machine here and you'll click on next and now it's going to find your problem all right so it finished and now we're going to click on finish and it's going to restart you can uh, take the disk out now if you'd like and now windows is starting up so once we get to the desktop here we know it was a success because that's what we're trying to do is get windows to start properly and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.